Welcome to the lecture of production of automotive components. In this, we'll be discussing about few more gear teeth manufacturing processes. So first, we'll discuss about gear shaping. So as you can see in the image, the left hand side here you can see the gear shape cutter, and then here you can see the workpiece. So this workpiece, which can be initially made either by a casting process or rolling process, can be further machined for making the teeth by using a gear shape cutter so you can, here you can see the cutter which has the profiles so basically the teeth over here generates a profiles based on the cutter or here over here as well you can see the image of a gear workpiece with a gear shaper cutter right so this cutter is basically uh, similar to how you have a rack type cutter but here it is circular in shape so this rotates and the workpiece also rotates so when they both like you know rotate all these profile of gear teeth are being formed so please go through the youtube link as well in order to understand this process better so next talking in detail gear shaping is similar to the rack type cutting process except that instead of a linear type rack cutter here we have a circular cutter and both the blank and the cutter they rotate as a pair of spur gears in addition to the reciprocation of the cutter so the cutter will not just rotate but it will also have a reciprocating motion it will go up and down and this is one of the generation method processes characterized by automatic indexing and the single cutter can cover the entire number of teeth for a given combination of module and pressure angle and hence the productivity is higher so the cutter is made up of hss and it possesses proper rake and clearance angles uh, talking about the advantages over rack type cutting here we don't need a separate indexing straight or helical tooth both external and internal spur gears can be produced with high accuracy and finish and the productivity is also higher next talking about gear hopping so here you can see a picture of a gear and on the left is the hopping cutter so gear hopping process is also basically used for producing the gear teeth so here what happens the tool and also the workpiece motions involve the hss cutter which has the teeth like gear milling cutter and the gear blank apparently both of them interact like a pair of warm and warm wheel so the cutter behaves like a single or multiple start warm and this has less number of tool work motions the hopping machines are much more rigid strong and productive than the gear shaping machine but hopping will produce less accuracy and finish and it is basically used for cutting straight or helical teeth of external spur gears and warm wheels next talking about the finishing so when you want the gear to have a smooth running good performance and long service life they definitely have to be manufactured with accurate dimensions they should have a very good surface finish and they have to be hard and wear resistive because they will be undergoing a lot of dynamic loading right so this can be ensured only by the finishing processes and when you have small gears that are made by cold rolling generally they don't need any further finishing but if a rolled gear needs for the surface hardening only then little finishing by either by grinding or lapping is done after hardening so the gears produced by die casting powder metallurgy extrusion blanking need finishing but already machined gears and hardened gears are used for accuracy and for surface finish they are further you know they undergo the finishing process so gear teeth after pre-forming and machining are finally finished by first for soft and unhardened gears gear shaving gear rolling or burnishing second for hard and hardened gears it's grinding or lapping and third for soft but precision gears gear shaving followed by surface hardening and then lapping so first we'll see what is gear shaving so as the name suggests what you're doing is a final finishing process to make sure that the exact dimensions of teeth are achieved and 
The teeth of straight or helical tooth external spark gears of worm wheels of moderate size and made up of soft materials like aluminium, brass, bronze, cast iron are basically finished by shaving process. There are different types of shaving cutters and how they work is basically as a pair of spark gear or rack or worm. They conjugate or mesh with the gear and then make sure that the accurate dimensions are achieved. And all those gear rack or warm type shaving cutters, they are made up of HSLs and their teeth are uniformly serrated to generate sharp cutting edges. So when interacting with the gears, the cutting teeth of the shaving cutter keep on smoothening the mating gear flanks by fine machining to high accuracy and surface finish. So for such minute cutting action, shaving teeth need an actual or apparent movement related to the mating teeth along their length. So what you have, just imagine a roughly uh, machined gear and for the further finishing process, you have to make sure that the shaving cutter is very sharp edged which can basically go through all the extra dimensions which are present to make sure that the final gear is accurate here you can see that uh, this is basically your gear workpiece and this is the shaving machine you can see that you know it's very highly sharp made up of hs steel so here again you can see the different type of gear shaving cutters and last we'll speak about gear rolling or burnishing process so in this the machined gear is rolled under pressure with three hardened master gears of high accuracy and finish so what you will have is your workpiece along with three hardened master gears and this undergoes the workpiece undergoes rolling under pressure and all the minute irregularities of the machine gear teeth will be smeared off by cold plastic flow which also helps in improving the surface integrity of the desired teeth so all the extra dimensions which are there will be taken away smeared off as in removed by using cold plastic flow so this again ensures that you have a very good surface finish thank you